If you've been thinking about selling a house or if you've been in the market to buy a house or if you've been paying any attention at all to the real estate market, you probably noticed the inv inventory crisis that we're in. Inventory is desperately needed to cool this overheated market. Now to be sure, a market like this is great for sellers but not so good for buyers. It's very uneven. In this video, we're going to get some insight into how long this inventory crisis may last what it means to you as a for sale by owner, and when might be a good time for you to cash in on your equity. Subscribe to this channel and I'll show you how to sell your house yourself fast and for the most money. And occasionally I'll be posting market insights that will give you information that you'll need to better make the decisions on whether it's time to sell or not. These inventory problems have been building for several years. Back in 2016, we were just pulling out of the 2008-2009 financial crisis recovery. And the market was pretty much even and back to its pre-crisis pre levels. And then up in 2018, us realtors started knowing there were less houses for sale. And then that just continued on, getting worse and worse until the, towards the end of 2020 and into 2021, inventory just became non-existent. And so prices went vertical. But what's happening with the inventory problem? Well, it seems to be easing as you can see from this graph. And Zillow said back in their April, April report that signs are emerging that the nation's ongoing inventory squeeze may be starting to ease somewhat just in time for the start of the traditional busy spring home shopping season. Well, in April and in June, it was still pretty bad, but here in July, we started to notice more houses coming on the market and less buyers. The buyers, I think, are, are going away because they're either getting priced out of the market or they're just throwing up their hands in despair and giving up. In fact, Zillow again says there were 32% more listings this June than there were last June. So we're starting to see the market start to even out some. It still has a ways to go, but it is getting better. The wild card is going to be the mortgage forbearance program that came along with the, with the CARES Act from COVID back in March of 2020. That was supposed to end in June, June 30th, and then it was extended to July 31st. Once that goes away, there's a lot of people that are predicting a great big market crash. You can see all these market crash videos on YouTube. They've been coming out since 2017 and predicting a housing market crash, a housing market crash. Well, eventually they're gonna be right, but I don't think it's gonna be in 2021 or 2022. The reason being, once the mortgage moratorium ends, a lot of people have gotten back to work now and I think they're gonna be able to just pick up where they left off. The money, the payments that they missed are gonna get tacked on to the end of their loan. But I think that's gonna, prevent any kind of a crash. Hopefully it will get some more inventory though. We don't wish anything bad on homeowners. We don't wish anybody to get foreclosed on, but there are gonna be some people that are gonna have some trouble. So we're liable to see some foreclosures come on the market, which may bring the inventory levels up a little bit and help stabilize the market. So if you're thinking about cashing in now, selling your house yourself to avoid those real estate commissions and cash in on all that equity from these rapidly rising prices, make sure you have a plan. If your plan is to sell your house and then buy another house, remember it's a great time for sellers, not so great for buyers. So you may just be spinning your wheels and get all that profit eaten up on the house you buy. I know there's been a lot of people that have sold their house because they just couldn't, they couldn't turn down all that extra money from their equity. And then they went to rent. Well, rent prices have, ex have soared lately. But if you do have a plan, it's a great time to cash in. Analysts are expecting prices to rise six to eight percent into, into the end of 2021 and into 2022. So it doesn't look that there's going to be an end to anything happening right away. So you still have some time according to, according to the nation's economists. But if you do want to cash in right now, it's a great time if you don't want to take that chance. But like I said, you may still have a little bit of time. But whatever you do, make sure you sell your house yourself and I'll show you how. Subscribe to this channel for tips and strategies that will teach you how to sell it fast and for the most money. Thanks for watching.